Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder Games YouTube channel. Today we're back in Oakland's, and uh, I've got a few little things. So, first things first, I saved up, and I bought two of these gifts. I bought one in the last video, and then one after I recorded that. And these two gifts are like it, nobody knows what they are so i wanted to buy two so i could open up one and then obviously once they go away if you still have one in the gift form it would be worth more i do remember that from back in the lumber tycoon days and also i have some extra glass so i'm actually gonna go sell all of this glass because we're very close to buying what i want to in today's video now, let me tell you guys what that is. There's a thing called the Grabby Grabber, and I imagine it's gonna be pretty helpful. It's 33 or 34,000 or something like that. I'll have to go check once again. Maybe 32,000? If it's 32, we'll get it real fast, actually. But I do want to go check that out and get it, because at the moment, we can only pick up one thing at a time, and it definitely kills our productivity uh, in the grand scheme of things. So, for now, I'm gonna load up all this glass. I got a couple more pieces over here. I happened to grab a lot more than I needed to fill up that plank in the front of our little box. And if you guys want to know why I made a little box in front of our presents, or I guess around our presence, it's for the simple fact of people can drive onto your base and sort of knock them off. So yeah, I wanted to keep it real, uh, real safe. But looks like we have all of our glass. Let's go ahead and take this over to the guy over here at the, uh, the junkyard. And let's see what they're offering. I don't expect it to be that much genuinely but we can see hey buddy how you doing two thousand i mean that's more than i thought it was gonna be and i'm pretty sure that gives us enough to actually buy the grabby grabber already pretty excited about so if we look around in here rusty putter yeah we don't want that what do we got over here okay these are all just the the rusty okay that's all that we don't want any of that stuff so it looks like this is the only thing that anyone could really want from this store and it costs 32 thousand dollars we're gonna buy it right now and hope it's awesome uh let's see you sure you'd like to buy the grabby grabber for a total of thirty two thousand five hundred and sixty nine dollars absolutely um unbox and pick up okay so now we have this oh i love how it has a light on it i'm gonna be honest i love how that has a light on it also between the last video and this one i've upgraded my axe etc and I have some good stuff. Let's go find a nice set of ores, mine those, and check out how this grabby grabber works, man, because I am definitely pretty excited about it. I feel broke again, guys. $1,600? That's no good, man. All right, look at around. Someone's already mining those, it looks like. That set looks pretty big. We're gonna go over there. You can tell they don't have the grabby grabber. <laughs> I hope this thing's cool. Like, I feel like it's gonna be hard to use. Like, how are we gonna control multiple things in the air? But let's check it out. So we have our axe. Let's grab this stuff. One, two, three. Uh, probably one more hit. Ooh, one more hit. Another hit. No, I'm kidding. That one was it. All right, now, if we grab this, how does this work? Oh, interesting. So look at that. Like, you pick, like, a point, and then it grabs everything in the circle. But it, it seems pretty hard to actually, like, move it. And then it's a shift. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is about how I thought it was going to be. I'm happy that it keeps everything together. But I definitely, I definitely thought this uh this is how this was gonna work i'm not gonna lie all right let's try to get this like down here that works and let's try this one more time so all three of these ores just like that guys definitely a cool tool and something very useful to have in my opinion but also still a little hard to use myself and my friends that have been playing this game think that the truck should be a little lower because bruh it's it's like like everyone who plays this plays in first person right like whenever you pick something up you're gonna go into first person that's just how the game works right that's how everything is controlled better all that in first person we don't need that one there's no ores on it so it'd be nice if the truck was just a little bit lower however this is okay there's a whole mine thing right there that's probably pretty cool but we need to head back to our base and i want to go check out some other people's bases in today's video just to see where everybody's at am i ahead am i behind what all do I need to do? Uh, and guys, I'm not going to start building a full base until I get max land. And then I'll do it just like I'd build a Roblox map. I will, you know, make a whole plan, all that stuff. 
and then start building. Now I am going to take all this and run it through my stuff before we sell it because I want the big bucks, uh, not the little bucks. Now let me try something real quick. I'm going to respawn my car. All right, let's respawn it. And now I'm going to try to drive it right next to my conveyor. I don't know if it's tall enough yet, but my goal is to auto load. So check this out. Now, if we put these through, hopefully it can do it. This is my first time mining since I put the conveyors on there. But uh, let's see. Let's see if it can auto load, guys. I'll be stoked. Let's go. Guys, we got an auto loader. That's going to save a lot of time. I can't even lie. We're going to put all of these in here and auto loader, man. That that is sick. Let's see if things get caught up. It looks like they are a little bit. Boys, uh, let's go though. This is a lot better than, um, than previous. At least it gets some stuff up here. Move that a little bit. And I got this box right next to it. So if things get stuck, I could kind of just move them real quick. That is very, very nice. And just like that, everything's loaded in the truck. Let's take this over to the junkyard and let's get this stuff sold, man. I also noticed you drive faster if you're on the roads rather than on the grass. Just in case no one else noticed that might be worth knowing. Are you sure you'd like to sell these for 2000? Yeah, I'll do that, man. I'll do that. You got anything back here? It doesn't look like it. All right. So we got the grabber. I wonder what else else I need to do. I should probably buy all of the blueprints because I will need those. So let's head over to the store and make sure that we have those just for when we are ready to start building. I think they're like 180 a piece or something like that. And I know I have two of them so far. And then guys, I really need to check out some bases. Like, look at that, man. Old base right there. How you doing, Mr. Store? How you doing? What's going on? What's going on? I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna just pull up right here and let's see what we got going on. All right, no problem. Now I'm gonna just put all of them onto the counter and then I'll buy them all at once and open all of them up at once. A cone? Yes, don't mind if I do. Fear, you already know we're gonna need that. I forgot, you can't run when you have an object. A tube? Interesting, interesting. I hope nothing despawns. You know what? I'm gonna buy these real quick if I have enough money. Only 900. Well, yeah, absolutely. Let me get those, boy. All right. We got all of those and let's grab our last few right here. I think just this one. We already have the wedge and the cube. So we just need this, the seat and the ladder. There we go. Let me grab that seat and then let me grab the ladder. And guys, that means we've got every blueprint and I believe all of the best buyable stuff in the game already. Now there is one thing that's wildly expensive. Let me go ahead and buy these. Uh, absolutely, there we go. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk. To all right, so now that we have all the blueprints, I wanna look around at bases, uh, but since the lighthouse is right here, I'm gonna go to that first and show you guys one more thing that I may save up for just to say I have it. I feel like it's more of a flex item than a useful one, at least for me, but check this out, guys. If we go into the lighthouse and make our way up, also lanterns, I did wanna buy those because I hate the nighttime in this game, but it seems they don't actually give off much light at all. Desk buddy. Awesome. All right, guys, I just knocked it down. The wand sits right here on top of this, like the bird. And I just aim out my camera like this and I knocked it down and it's now down here on the ground. So I'll go show you guys how much it costs. It's an anchoring wand. So basically you wouldn't have to build a box around things like presents. Um, and you'd be able to like just stick things in the air. So check this out. Magic anchor wand. Anchoring loose items, it quite literally is like magic. Do not use on people. That makes me wonder if you can use it on people. However, it's $71,000, so we won't be getting that today, but it is a very cool item. Think about this. Say you have the rarest axe in the game. Uh, there isn't really rarities and stuff like that out yet, but say you had one, then you could just drop it, hold it up in the air, and then anchor it, and it would just be floating on your base. And then otherwise, presents and stuff like that, nobody could run those off your base either because they would be anchored and uh, they would just be good on your base. Now, speaking of bases, Let's go check some out real quick before we wrap this one up. I did not expect to get the grabby thing so fast. Let's see. Interesting. I like what you're doing. Auto loads right onto the car slot. Very nice. Very nice. Once my base gets bigger, I'll be doing a more optimized system like this. But I do like how you have it going right onto the car spawner. Very nice of an idea. 
In fact, I could probably move my spawner to, uh, to kind of get that same effect. It does seem, uh, very normal to put a fence around your base. Uh, I wonder why that is. Is that just so people can't drive on them? Because the three bases I can see right now all have the same fence around them. Anyways, let me move my, uh, car spawner real quick just while I'm thinking about it. Odds are I'm gonna have to move this box. Hmm, let's see. Building on here does seem a bit clunky or just like a lot to do things, but maybe that's just because I'm not used to it yet. So let's select this. I wish I could just press R. R, R, T. So that's probably rotate and turn, but it doesn't rotate. So I have to go to this and like do one of those numbers and then go back to this and do one of these numbers. I don't know, man. Um, Let's put it right here, maybe in here place and now let's spawn the car in okay so i spawned under the car because you know i uh didn't really think that went out too well oh my somebody help <laughs> all right so the car spawns in right there uh it might be a little too far so maybe we'll move it in just a bit just to about here and now if we spawn in the car let's get on this side so it doesn't spawn on top of us again exit build mode boom yeah that looks pretty all right so we'll have to try that real quick I'll just grab some of this tree. There we go. And I'll grab one more little piece of this tree. We're just testing. This isn't really for money or anything like that. I just want to see uh, if everything goes to plan. I'm dumb. This isn't This isn't even for wood. <laughs> this, is, this isn't even for wood, guys. That one's for wood. I would need an ore to test this because, you know, I'm just that smart. I guess I'll throw that over there. Do your thing. There you go. And let's see. Can this roll up there? Now we can at least test. Ah, it's close. I think it would work with ores because they're longer. So I'm not mad at that. I'll go ahead and put these in the car just so I could get them sold here in a little bit. All right. Now, is there any other bases I can look at before we wrap this one up? I want to see something impressive. In fact, I think I might try to collab with uh, some other YouTubers in an in a upcoming video soon. I like their, their loading setup. That's really cool. The other ones look like they're just starting. Now, where are other bases at? I would assume way up there. But then again, that seems kind of far. I know there's six in all, so we have one, two, four. Yeah, I guess the last two have to be up this way then. Is that a base right there? It looks like they got some good stuff done. So this would be the fifth base. It looks like they have a loader as well but walls blocking it so they things can't fall outside of their vehicle that's pretty cool i wonder what all they have going on here so it looks like one setup that can do it all so if you want to put in you know wood it would skip this stuff if that's the same stuff i have i'm still new and it would go here and then the wood would get done but you could also make it do the rock pretty cool and all in one setup i may have to try that out as well and there should be one more base which uh, i have no idea where it is we got the cool mine thing right there dang if somebody's base is actually way back here though another mine right here this one's got to be opening up pretty soon it might even be open by the time this video goes up who knows all right i have deemed the last base as not that important i do want to see what's over there though because i've never been there it looks like it's another like shop type thing do you guys sell anything cool oh got a surfboard sort of beach vibes out here okay so they have beach balls for 400 dollars, and it looks like that might be it unless there's another secret hidden item Kind of like the wand, but it looks like for now it's just beach balls. And I don't think I'm going to grab one yet because there's other important stuff I could do like expand land and all that stuff. So for now, we're not going to buy a beach ball, guys. I think I broke my car. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, today we got the grabby grabber. Uh, let's see. We could probably expand our land a little bit. And other than that, I think we're chilling. I'm thinking in the next video, I can try to grind off video of course i know it'd be boring to watch grinding the whole time but i'm thinking next video i can get to max land and then after having max land we can actually start building a pretty insane base and i think that is where the real content is going to be started anyways i think that's going to wrap it up for today if you did enjoy and you want to see more videos like this please make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later